No other king could vanquish the war horse or silence the warrior's rage while riding the lowly back of a donkey. No other king could break the dominion of darkness, the tyranny of evil, with a reign of grace and a kingdom of peace. No other king could give his life for the redemption of rebels, his wealth to welcome the outcast. Jesus is that king, the king of glory, son of the living God. Not just another king, not just another prophet, not just another teacher. He was the one the world had been waiting for. The one to deliver us from captivity, the son of David and Abraham's chosen seed. He is the goal of the Mosaic law, Yahweh in the flesh. He is the one to establish God's reign and rule, to heal the sick, give sight to the blind, freedom to the prisoners, and proclaim good news to the poor. This Jesus was the creator come to earth and the beginning of a new creation. He embodied the covenant, fulfilled the commandments, and reversed the curse. This Jesus is the Christ that God spoke of to the serpent, the one prefigured to Noah in the flood, the one promised to Abraham, the one guaranteed to Moses before he died, the one promised to David during his reign, the one revealed to Isaiah as a suffering servant, the one predicted through the prophets and prepared for through John the Baptist. He is the Father's Son, Savior of the world, and substitute for our sins. More loving, more holy, and more wonderfully terrifying than we ever thought possible. He is our Jesus, and there is no other king like him. He is our God, our glory, our victorious Savior. There is no other king like him. There is no other king. Hallelujah. 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 Communion service. Come on, somebody. I don't know about you, but I need to be washed clean. Hallelujah. I need to be forgiven. Amen. So we're going to do something a little different today. Hey, come on. This is the day. Come on. <laughs> this is the day. Come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Look, all week long, seven straight days, 4 a.m., hallelujah, where two or three are gathered. There he is in the midst thereof. We didn't have two or three. We had almost 90 every single morning joined together for prayer. And this week we pray for our babies. Hallelujah. So we're going to do something different today. You saw it. Hallelujah. We're going, to, we're going to let the young and the young adults lead us out today in the name of Jesus. You saw Jamie and his daughter. Why? Because we've been praying for our babies. And we know how much our children mean to us. We know how much your children mean to you. We know how much God's children mean to him. And so we're culminate, culminate, uh, culminating this week uh, with communion so that we could pray over our babies. Listen to me very closely. So we can pray over our babies and ask God to bless them, amen? And so prepare your hearts, prepare your minds, amen? You've heard from Jamie week in and week out. Now you'll hear from his seed, amen? His firstborn, hallelujah, amen. Hey, y'all know, know the word came forth today, amen, Jamie? The word God gave me this morning, we have been telling young people what they need to do all week. And I prayed and said, God, what's the last message? You know the seventh day, Pastor, is completion. Seven is completion. And God told me, you don't need to pray for the babies no more. You don't need to make the focus the babies no more. Now you need to make it the adults. I said, God, what do you mean by that? God said, you have to make it about the mothers and the fathers and the, and the grandmothers and the grandfathers and about the God parents and about the guardians. Why? Because God told me you don't have to worry about the fruit if the tree is good. <laughs> Hallelujah. Matthew 7, 16 says if the tree is good, then the fruit is good. Amen. It says that if it's a good tree, 
that a good tree bears good fruit. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Come on. So God told me to tell you, we don't have to worry about the babies. If the tree is good, if the root is good, amen. Even if the fruit rolls away from the tree, <laughs> it'll be a good fruit that rolled away. Oh, you not hear what I'm saying? But it also said, hallelujah, if the tree is evil, then the fruit is evil. It said that a good tree cannot bear evil fruit, and neither can an evil tree bear good fruit. And so today, and so today, because of the lamb, <laughs> because of the lamb, we can all be good fruit. And so what shall wash away our sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. You have been blessed over the last seven, eight months. Now we're about to take you to a whole other level and be ye blessed by the Cook family in the name of Jesus. I'm sorry, Jamie and Jamie, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. talk long hallelujah I just want to say that last year pastor this time we was praying we've been praying all week right we've been praying all week last week last year we were praying that she get her speech back oh hallelujah oh hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah we were praying last just last year for those of you that that are still doubtful for those of you that are still operating in fear for those of you that are still not taking advantage of the access that you have with God this testimony, hallelujah, is a clear example of how good God is. Amen. Come on, sing, Jamie. Hallelujah.
So just say, thank you, Jesus, right now, wherever you are. Just say, hallelujah, stop what you're doing right now. And say, hallelujah, give him all of the praise. Holy, 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 you are a good God. You are a good father, Lord. Thank you. Thank 
you, Lord. Lord, right now we just invite your Holy Spirit in. We invite your presence in, Lord, where you said where two or three are gathered, there you are among them, Lord. So I thank you for being among us on today, Lord. We thank you that today we get to celebrate our children, Lord. We get to honor you by taking communion, Lord. So we just want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. 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 Who are we that we get to experience you? Who are we? Oh, Lord, we thank you. This week we've been able to pray. Pray over our children, our young adults, our young adults, those in their 20s those in their teens just cover them Lord because we know that you're about to do a mighty work so we thank you for what you've already are doing you've already done we prayed all week all week starting last Sunday we have prayed all week and so we're just excited on today Lord we're excited for what you're getting ready to do Lord so right now I want you wherever you are if that young adult that you've been praying for just it's in your presence right now I need you to go up to them right now and touch them touch them just hug them right now and as we pray as I pray right now I want you to pray over your baby the same prayers that you've been waking up at 4 a.m. to praise so those same prayers that's been keeping you up all night I want you to speak life into your baby right now to that young adult right now I have a list before me with some young adults that I'm praying for that are important to me. I can't be with them right now, they're not here. But I just wanna reach out my hands to them and let them know that I see them, I see you, I love you. I'm talking, I'm talking to the young adults in my life, but I want you right now to talk to, hold on, hug them, just hug them, hold their hand touch their shoulder, whatever. Reach out to them, grab a picture, something. Pick up your phone and text them right now, right now. Just grab on that baby and just, just pray over them right now, right now, wherever you are. So I'm reaching out and I'm saying, I love you. I love you. Thank you. I thank you, God, for putting them in my life. I thank you, Lord, that you saw me fit to be a big sister to them, Lord. I ask you right now, Lord, that you cover them, Lord. I thank you for the work that you're doing in their life right now, Lord. You're about to do something incredible. You are about to blow our minds, Lord. So we just want to say thank you right now, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you're about to heal them. You are about to call them out of that anxiety. You're about to call them out of that depression, Lord, and, and, and put them on the right path, Lord. So we just thank you right now, Lord. I just thank you for their life. I thank you for the purpose and the plan that you have for them, Lord. I thank you that you are working everything out for their good right now, Jesus. You are a good God, Lord. This list of beautiful young people that I have, Lord. Shanari, Mikhail, Joseph, Jamie. Jalen, Trey, Jada, Trey, Pekka, Morgan. Oh Lord, we thank you, Jesus. I thank you for every one of these young children, these young adults, Lord, and I ask that you have your way in their life right now. I ask right now that you create in them a clean heart, a clean heart, Lord, so that they can serve you, Lord. Let them know that they are a peculiar people, Lord, a royal priesthood, that you have set them apart, God, for you. For you right now, Lord, you have set them apart. Oh, Lord, so we pray, Lord, that you have your will be done in their life, Lord. We thank you for the testimonies, Lord. We thank you for the calling you have on them, Lord. We thank you for about how they're getting ready to change the world. How they're, they're, they're going to set the standard, Lord, for a new generation, a new generation of leaders, Lord who seek you first, God. So we thank you for what you're getting ready to do in our life. Lord, right now we pray for the children, the younger babies, you know, those that, you know, they're not even teenagers yet, Lord. And we thank you 
that they bring us so much joy, Lord, and we ask, Lord, that you protect them right now. We thank you for the environments that you've placed them in, God. We thank you, Lord, that even if they're in a, not in a great environment, Lord, we, we know right now that you're there with them. You're there with them, and no weapon right now formed against them will prosper, Lord. Oh God, in your word it says that when the enemy attacks us from one direction, you will scatter, you will scatter the enemy in, in seven directions. So many directions, Lord. So we thank you for that right now. We thank you that you're scattering the enemy, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you're protecting these babies and that you're setting them apart, Lord. We love you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, right now we pray. We pray for every parent, every mother, every father, every big sister, big brother, just every person who might have any influence over our children's lives. We just ask right now that you touch them, Lord, that you touch them, Lord, and we're praying for strength. We're praying for courage. We're praying for wisdom. We're just praying, Lord, for, for love. We're praying, Lord, that you fill them with so much love that it just, that it just overflows onto their babies, Lord. It just overflows into every child that they have in their life, Lord. Every child that's in their sphere of influence right now, we just ask, Lord, that their light shine, that their light shine right now, Lord. We thank you, God. And Lord, we thank you for today that we get to take communion, Lord. We get to be reminded, God, of who you are we get to be reminded of what you did for us on the cross Jesus oh Lord we thank you God right now as we as we take the communion Lord that you just set the atmosphere that you prepare our hearts prepare our spirits right now Lord we thank you we thank you that it is finished it is done it is complete everything Lord we have our healing we have our deliverance we have our breakthroughs Everything that we need right now, Lord, can be found in you, Lord. So we just thank you. We thank you right now, Lord. We just want to worship you. Holy, holy, wherever you are right now, if you can just bow down. Just bow down. And as the, soul, the song, as the song saying, think about the Lord and how good he's been to you. Think about the Lord for a second and how good he's been to you. Bow down and just say thank you. Just say hallelujah. Holy, 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 hallelujah. Just thank him. Glory be to your name, God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. You're so good. You're so faithful, God. Oh, you lavish us with your grace, with your mercy, with your unfailing, with your unfailing love. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Have your way on this day, Lord. Have your way in our hearts, Lord. Again, Lord, we ask, Lord, if there's anything, Lord, that is distracting us from this moment right now, Lord, we rebuke that thing right now in your son Jesus' name. Jesus, 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 we thank you, God. We love you. Talk to daddy. Talk to daddy. He loves you. He loves you and he wants to hear from you. He wants to hear your voice. If you don't know what to say, just say help. Just say, Lord, help. I need you. I don't know what to say. I haven't talked to you in a while, but I'm saying help. And he will hear you. He hears you. He sees you. You are not alone. So just thank him. Oh God, we thank you, Jesus. Just take your time, talk to daddy.
God we serve. The Bible says angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. We want you right now prepare your hearts. Prepare your minds for communion. Hallelujah. As you know all week long we've been praying for our babies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All week long, we've been praying for our babies. Amen. And we want to put a special emphasis on them even today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me say this to you. Hallelujah. I think it's important for you guys to know while we hate the devastation of COVID-19, while we hate that this virus has run rampant through our communities. Hallelujah. We are so grateful that during this time frame, we got to serve you. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are grateful yeah. Yeah. That, that perhaps your church didn't have technology. Amen. Perhaps, amen. Your church wasn't prepared uh, for the situation. And we thank God that we've been able to serve you in the interim. Hallelujah. Now, we're not, we not trying to steal you. Amen. amen. We just, <laughs> hallelujah. We're just trying to serve. Yep. Hallelujah. Standing in the gap. Amen. amen. Just trying to stand in the gap. Hallelujah. Praise God. We're just trying to stand in the gap. And so we thank God that God saw fit that we should shepherd you. Hallelujah. That God saw fit that we should lead you. Hallelujah. We thank God. We praise God. Amen. And, and, and we just pray that over the next few months, we don't know how long this thing is going to last, but we pray we can continue to serve you. We ask that you would place, hallelujah, your needs. Make sure you write it. Amen. Don't be ashamed. Don't be embarrassed. Amen. You, you put in the comments what you need. As you see, uh, me and Pastor, amen, we, we love to see our people succeed. Yeah, we, I, I love <laughs> to see my people succeed. Amen. amen. Passion, purpose, amen, passion. And, and do me a favor, when, when you write their names, you know, when you type it in the comments, right, say it out loud. It's, it's, listen, the power of life and death is in the tongue, right? And so speak it into the atmosphere. Speak their names out loud. Amen? Yeah, Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Uh, I want to share with you just a couple of scriptures. Amen. I'm going to focus on our babies. Amen. Pastor's going to focus on our adults. And let me just be real. We, we transparent here. Amen. Praise God. We're transparent. Amen. Pastor and I was talking this week and we both talked about you know our earlier uh, discipline skills. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Growth. Amen. Yeah, Praise God. God. Growth. Growth in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And so we want to start by saying, behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb, a reward. Amen. And so one of the things I want you to do as you go throughout the rest of this day, the rest of this month, the rest of this year, I want you to see your babies as a reward from God. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just being honest. There are times when, you know, pastor, they, they, they might mess up in school. Yep, yep. Uh, they might be obedient, disobedient at home. Talking back. Yeah, they might, they might, you know, in terms of our reputation out in public, they may tarnish it, you know, a little Just bit. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And, and sometimes we get angry and we forget in our anger or in our disappointment. We get to the point where we're like, you know what? I, I forgot they were rewarded. Yeah, wash my hands. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Wash Amen. my hands. Amen. And so... I'm telling you, when you, when, when you start looking at them like that and you forget their reward, yeah, hallelujah. you don't get the blessing. The Bible said their reward yeah, you, of the womb. Amen. And so you don't get the blessing and they don't get the blessing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in Psalms 127.4, like arrows in the hand of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you hearing what the word of God says? The word of God is saying they're useful. They're useful to us. Amen. They are a blessing to us, not a curse to us. And so I just, I want to stop and just, I just want to stop and pray. Here's what I want you to do for me. This is an action. Remember, we're doing communion. So this, this ain't about hyping you up, inspiring you. This is about correction and direction. And so one of the things that I want you to do when this communion service is over, I want you to literally text your babies. 
Call your babies. Now, some of you not mature enough to call because you'll start off positive, and by the time you get to the end of the got call, you really got, yeah, you got negative real fast, and now you fighting with them. Some of you using some choice words. Listen to me. This, I need you to take action. I don't care if you have one child. You ain't talked to them in forever. I don't care if you have, listen to me, a, a child that you haven't even been in a life, but you want to build that relationship. Like, I don't care if you gave them up for adoption. Stop. Amen. You ain't off the hook with God. You, you're not off the hook with God. And so wherever your babies are, college, they not talking to you, whatever's going on, I want you to send them a text and say, baby, you are a reward. You are, send them a text. Send them a text. You are a reward. Amen. You are useful to us. You are a blessing to us. Like arrows in the, like arrows in the hands of a warrior. And, and, and let me just say, Pastor, if, if, if a warrior has an arrow, right, and for some reason the arrow falls to the ground, yeah. it gets some dirt on it, yeah. just a little bit, I'll right? Talk to it might be a pinch a little bit. Yeah. You can still pick up that arrow, Pastor. And you can still pull it back, right? And when you pull it back, it's still useful. Yeah. Amen. It's, it's, it's still a weapon. Hear me clearly. Like, I don't care what happened, what they did, what she said, what he did. They're still useful. Pick them up. Amen. I'm going to say it again, Pastor. Pick them up. It is your responsibility to be available. Amen. Pray. We're going to pray. Father, we come now in the name of Jesus. Today is about resetting. It's communion. Today, Lord, is about reflection. Today is not just about taking sacraments, Father. It's not about just going through the motions. As parents, we have forgotten some of us because of, as Pastor just said eloquently, Lord, the, the arrow has fallen. The arrow has a little dirt on it, Lord, a little smudge, but it's still an arrow. And it's still useful and it's still beneficial. And so as parents, amen, today, we're going to stop and tell our babies how useful they are. Now, I need you to do me a huge favor, Lord. Bless our parents and, and give them the same energy when they're upset, when, when, when they're angry, that same volume, <laughs> hallelujah, that same volume, that same energy, that same passion that we give when we're upset. Hallelujah, yeah. That yeah. same volume, that same energy, Lord, we're going to do in the positive. We're going to let them know, you, you, baby girl, I don't know when it was the last time I told you you were a reward. Son, I don't remember the last time I told you you were a reward. And I'm grateful that of all the rewards God could have given me, he gave me you. Hallelujah. Amen. That second text, yes, you may have done this and you may have done that. But you know what, son? You know what, daughter? You know what, sweetheart? You know what, champion? You know what, king? You know what, queen? You are valuable to me. You're valuable to your mother. You're valuable to this family. You're valuable to this church. You're valuable to this community. You're valuable to our name. And I want to say thank you on behalf of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost for blessing me with you. And Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that every text that goes out, that every voice memo that goes out, to every call that goes out, to every letter that goes out, Lord, if we got to go in their DMs and do it, yeah, 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 yeah. Lord, as the message goes out in the name of Jesus Christ, may it be received. Yeah, yeah. May our babies feel it. Lord, we pray for even our babies that are in jail, that even though we may not be able to get it to them today, some of us don't have access to them, we will call it out and they will receive it. I will greet this day with love in my heart. We will greet this day with love in our heart and they'll feel the spirit, Lord. They'll feel our love. And even as we're doing it to those that we can reach, or perhaps there's some child that we can't reach as we send it to their friends their girlfriend, their boyfriend, their husband, their wife, their children. Lord, as we get it to them, may it fall on good ground. And may the sins of the past and the anger of the past and the misunderstandings of the past, may it all by your blood be washed away. And may there be unity as we saw with Jamie and Jamie, Lord. No coincidence. That you have father and daughter seen that relationship, Lord. We know we can get that back. Yes. 
those of us who've lost it, we can get that back and beyond because we pray these things as we build a healthy relationship with our babies and show them how valuable they are in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give God some praise. Come on, give God some praise. Listen, be very careful. I'm, I'm, give me a couple minutes. I'm, I want to talk to my parents. And I, I want to give you some facts. Amen. And then once I give you the facts, I want to give you some action steps. Come on. I'm going to give you some facts. And I'm going to give you some action steps. Amen. So we're going to go to the, the, the first slide, right? And I, I want you to understand, amen, when, when, when you listen to these facts, right, that you're not looking at your, your friend's kids or, or, yeah. or, 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 or your, 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 your cousin's kids. No, you're looking at your kids. Amen. Hear me clearly. Past and current trauma greatly affects the way your children engage in their daily tasks. Or past, or he just, he just, he just acting up, or he, he just got an attitude problem. Like sometimes it, it, it may be more than that. It may be trauma, right? So you're saying, what is trauma, Pastor? In general, trauma can be defined as a psychological. Here's a big one, Pastor. Emotional Amen. response to an event or an experience that is deeply distressing or disturbing. So, Pastor, uh, an event might happen. And it may not be distressing to me, but it may be distressing to you. Amen. Oh, oh you need, just need to get over it. Toughen up. Yeah. Quit being soft. Yeah. Quit being a punk. Yeah. But, 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 Pastor, if, if I'm talking to my kid in that way, yeah. and, and for them it's distressing. Yeah. It's trauma to them. It's trauma to them. And then, they, then they're going to respond, right, based upon their emotions. Praise God. So a, another term that you may hear when referring to difficult or scary experiences is called Adverse Childhood Experience, A-C-E. Adverse Childhood Experience. And when your child goes through an adverse experience, right? Like I said, to, to you as a father, yeah. it might not be the big deal. But to your son or to your daughter, they're, they're, they're wired differently. So it may be a big deal to them. Amen. And so it may affect them, amen? And so then last, now I, I, I want to break it down. Right? I want to give you some of the things, right? Next slide, James. I want to give you some of the things. Uh, oh, praise God. We, we good right there? Okay, praise God. Praise God. So let's listen, listen very carefully, right? Adverse childhood experience, right? And so there's a, there's a list. I don't apologize. I don't have a list. So there's a list, right? And so, here we go. Praise God. The original ACE, ACE study included the following 10, Pastor. Right? Listen, listen, when, when, when you hear your, when, when your, your 10, right? Your two, your three, yeah. whatever it may be, yeah. I want you to put some prayer on it. Yeah, right? and write it down. Write it down. Put yeah, it down so it down. we can pray right? for you too. Right? We want to pray for you. Physical Hallelujah. abuse. Yep, physical abuse. Is that you? Is, is that your son? Is that your daughter? Is that your niece? Your nephew? Right? Social, I'm sorry, uh, sexual abuse. Amen. Amen. Emotional abuse. Yep, physical neglect. Emotional neglect. Mother, I'm sorry, treated violently. Yeah. Hallelujah. Household substance abuse. I'm talking to you parents. Household, ooh, yeah. pastor. Yeah. Mental yeah. illness, amen. Parental separation or divorce. Right, oh, they'll get over it, right? Incarcerated household member, amen. 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 Pastor, can I go? Father treated violently. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Amen. Hallelujah. Absolutely, absolutely. Listen very carefully, right? We're going to move forward. I want to give you action steps real, real quick. Hear me carefully. I want to focus, Pastor, on emotional abuse and emotional neglect. Because some of us, right, you're like, nobody's incarcerated, right? No physical abuse, no sexual abuse. We good, Pastor. Yeah. Well, well, how are you talking to your son? Yeah. How are you talking to your daughter? Amen. How, how are you talking to your spouse yeah. in front of your oh, children? Oh, my, my, my. I'm going to say that again. How are you speaking to your spouse in front of your children? Help me, How Jesus. is your body language? Help me, Jesus. Right? right. My, 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 my husband's. How is your body language when you're talking to your wife? Hallelujah. Is your daughter looking at you while you're talking to your wife? Yeah. Help me, Jesus. All right? Trauma, right? So sometimes our kids experience trauma in their own house, Pastor. When I was young, Pastor, I had my son at 21. When I was young, Pastor, I wasn't physically abusing my son. I wasn't physically abusing my wife. I wasn't, I wasn't verbally abusing my wife. But, but pastor, emotionally, sometimes I, I would talk to him rough. Yeah. I would yell at him. I, I would tell him he's being soft. Oh, help me, pastor. You being a punk, son. Oh, Tighten up, pastor. Yeah. Pastor, I, I was speaking to him this way. Trauma. Trauma. But, 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 but sometimes when I was young, my father, 
Yeah, trauma. Trauma. Yeah. Trauma. What do we do, Pastor? Action steps. Philippians 4. I love it, Pastor. We've read this before, right? But 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 we haven't put it in this context, Pastor. Yeah. Philippians 4 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. I don't care what your son or daughter is doing. Rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. Let your gentleness be evident to all. Pastor, I got to let my gentleness be evident Amen. to my sons, Amen. to my daughter. Amen. Let your gentleness be evident to all. I'm going to whip your butt. I'm going to, have they seen your gentleness, Pastor? Yeah, praise God. They seen your have wrath, mercy. but have they seen your gentleness? Have mercy. Have mercy. Hallelujah. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every, yeah. every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Now here's the part I want you guys to get. Here's the action steps, Pastor. In the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, regards your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So, Pastor, what do I do going forward? Here's what you do, Pastor. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. But Pastor, may I say, don't just think about such things. Whatever is true, whatever is admirable, right? Talk to your kids in truth. Talk to your kids in love. That's right. Amen. Talk to your kids about being noble. Amen. Talk to your kids about when they right, not just when they wrong. Celebrate them when they do good, when they do great. Celebrate them. Right? Whatever, whatever you put your focus on, Pastor, they are going to see that and that's going to grow. And then it says, whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice. Hallelujah. And a God of peace will be with you. I declare to you, whatever your kids have heard, whatever your kids have seen, they're going to put it in practice. Amen. Pastor said that earlier. Listen to me very carefully. If the tree, if the tree, pastor, is good, the fruit Hallelujah. that comes from the tree. Hallelujah. So, so whatever they Hallelujah. see you do, Amen. whatever they hear you do. Amen. So do me a favor. Don't just pray for your, your child, right? Pray for yourself as a parent Amen. that you might be the Amen. right tree, that you might be the right example, that you may speak what's praiseworthy, what's right, what's noble. Pray to God that you might be the example of how your child should be. Amen. Because if that tree falls, if that, if that fruit falls awesome. from that tree, Father, yeah. Father, I know that if it rolls 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, Rodney, the seed is still in it, Pastor. Oh, y'all didn't hear what I said. The, pastor, no matter how far that, that, yeah. that, that, that apple might fall yeah. from the tree, Pastor, and if it rolls 20 yeah. feet, Pastor, 30 feet, Pastor, the seed is still in the tree. It's still in it. <laughs> it's so still maybe in it's not just praying Amen. for your kids. Maybe Amen. we need to pray for the adults as well. The adults as well. Good. Father God in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for life, health, and for strength, Father. Help us, Father. Help me, Father. Help me, Father, be a better father. Help pastor, Father, be in a the better name father. Of Jesus. In the Help name our of wives Jesus. be better mothers. In the father. name of Jesus. We're praying, oh, he doing this, she doing this. But pastor, what am I doing? What am I doing as a man of God? What am I doing as the example? Father God, we, we thank you, Father, for the opportunity, for you woke us up this morning so we can be better parents. We can be better examples, Father. Whatever trauma our children have experienced in the home, outside the home, Father. Father, we're praying for healing, Father. And we're praying that going forward, Father, that we not be the individuals that cause trauma in our children's lives. We love you, Father. We praise you. We pray that yokes will be destroyed and chains will be broken. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is good. Amen. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Bless you. Amen. Prepare your hearts and minds. Go get your sacraments. Amen. This is what we've come here for today. Hallelujah. We're about to start all over again. It was David who said, create within me a clean heart. Hallelujah. And renew a Hallelujah. right spirit in me, O oh Lord. We're about to be made whole. Hallelujah. Jesus is about to cleanse us. So go. 
pastor, I'm not a member of the church. Go, go, get your sacraments. Hallelujah, I don't know, I don't know if I'm worthy. If you don't think you're worthy, pastor, this is just for you. Hallelujah, amen. Go now, prepare, get your sacraments. Hallelujah, praise God. Hallelujah, praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. Let that sink you in the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All minds are cleared. All hearts are prepared. Hallelujah. Take a moment. If there's anybody out there that you have issue with according to the word this is the time where you need to if you can't physically reach out to him I want you to just to mentally right now I want you to pray for forgiveness I want you to, 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 to decide and determine at this moment that you're going to make that right today not tomorrow hallelujah hallelujah Father, we thank you, Father, for your mercy and for your grace. Oh, yes, you are King of kings and Lord of lords. You sit on high, you look on low. Father, we are nothing but 50 rags, but your mercy and your grace. Day after day, moment after moment, sin after sin, we don't partake in the sacraments, Father, out of custom, Father. We don't do it for religion, Father. We do it with a purpose, Father. For, Father, our desire is to be closer to you, Father, than we ever been before, Father. We want to walk with you, Father. We want to talk with you, Father. We want to come to know you, Father. We've never known you before, Father. We want to walk with you in the cool of the day, Father. Creating us, Father, a clean heart, Father, a righteous spirit, Father, and whoever we have ought with, Father, help us to make that right. At this moment, Father, we want to be equally yoked, Father. Let our thoughts be your thoughts, Father. Let our desires be your desire. Let our will to be your will, Father. We want to be what you've called us to be, Father. So, Father, as we prepare, Father, to take of these sacraments, Father, let us go forward from this moment forward, Father, and never be the same again, Father, in thought or in deeds, Father. Let us to lay our hands to the plow and to never look back, Father. Let us press towards the mark of a higher calling, Father. For that which is before us is greater than that which is behind us, Father. We press towards the mark, Father. We will not grow weary in well-doing, Father. We want to be what you've called us to be and what you've birthed us to be, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm reading from 1 John 2, 6. And the pastor's going to follow behind me and read. Whoever claims to live in him must live as Jesus did. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old one, which you have had since the beginning. The old command is the message you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command, 
its truth is seen in him and in you because the darkness is passing and the true light is already hallelujah pastor it's already shining anyone who claims to be in the light but hates a brother or sister is still in the darkness anyone who loves their brother and sister lives in the light and there is nothing in them to make them stumble but anyone who hates a brother or sister is in the darkness and walks around in the darkness. They do not know where they are going because the darkness has blinded them. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but love rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things. It believes all things. It hopes all things. It endures all things. Again, as we take the sacraments of Jesus Christ, the blood that was shed, the body that was broken, God is saying to us today that I just, I don't want you just to take it. At some point, I want you to be poured out wine. I want you to be broken for me. And how, Lord, through 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, this is how you show you know me. You walk with me. This is how you show that you're not in the flesh, but in the spirit. Because love is patient and it's kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Amen. Father, Bless the sacraments, Father, for they are but a symbol, Father. But as we partake in the sacraments, Father, let it to bring a change of mind, Father, a change of heart, Father, a change of action, Father. Father, you, 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 you have showed us, Father, from the beginning to appropriately name this ministry a place of change ministry, Father. So, Father, let it not to be a building, Father, but let, let it to be a, let us individually, amen, be a place of change. So as we partake, Father, bless it in a special way, Father, that we do it, Father, knowing that we are declaring that from this point forward, we are going to be new, Father. Behold, the old is dead. The new has arrived. And let us not turn back to that which we were. But let us keep moving forward to that which we were born to be. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In verse 26, while they were eating, Jesus took the bread and when he gave thanks, he broke it and he gave to his disciples. Amen. Praise God. Let me let me let me break the let me break the wrapper. Hallelujah. Praise God. He gave to his disciples. He said, Take, eat. This is my body. Amen. Hallelujah. 
Then he took the cup. And when he gave thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it. All of you, this is the blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many of the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now or until the day when I drink from it with you in my father's kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. If God has blessed you today, come on. Come on. Somebody say hallelujah. If God has blessed you, just type hallelujah in the comments. Hallelujah. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He is worthy to be praised. I don't know about you, but I feel amazing. Amazing. Hallelujah. This is the day. Hallelujah. This is the day, Jamie, the Lord has made. I get to, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 I'm going to pray this out. And immediately following, don't go anywhere. Don't log off. We want to share with you our plans for Thanksgiving. Amen. You heard what Rodney said, love. Right, and Jamie, if we if we if we could be called anything different in a place of change, it'd be a place of love. Amen. Oh, no Amen. All right, love. love. Right, not that. Right, love. Right, he said it, but not any love, Jamie. Agape love. Right, unconditional love. It's the highest love. Amen. So don't go anywhere. As soon as we get done praying, we want to share with you our Thanksgiving plans, and it's your opportunity to give to somebody because you can't be God given. Father, we thank you for this wonderful time together, for this wonderful service, Father. While we can't all be together physically, Father, we thank you for those who are watching online, Father. We thank you for those who are sharing with other people, Father, They're sharing the word of God, Father, sharing the testimonies, Father. So we praise you, Father. We magnify your name, Father. We pray that whatever our hand finds a touch, that we do with all our might, and we glorify you, Father, with the way that we talk, the way that we walk, the way that we carry ourselves, Father. We pray that when we leave here today, Father, that we may be leaving the sanctuary, Father, but we never leave your side. Help us to be equally yoked with you, Father, and to walk with you, Father, in the direction you will have us to go. And if we're headed in the wrong direction, Father, please turn us around, Father, and place our feet on solid ground. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. At APOC, we're making holiday plans to support those members of our community who are in need and we're reaching out for your financial assistance in support of our annual Thanksgiving Day Basket Drive to provide these families with a Thanksgiving meal and other essentials. The need is especially great this year, as many families are out of work and suffering financially because of COVID-19. The donation goal for this year's Thanksgiving food drive is $3,000, which will allow us to provide 20 families with a $150 gift card from a local grocery store. A place of change depends on your generous donations to provide this much needed support. Can we count on you to assist us with reaching this goal? Here's how you can help. You can send your tax deductible donation by Cash App, dollar sign, a place of change, APOC, or mailing a certified check or money order to a place of change ministry, 11615 Hartel Road, Grand Ledge, Michigan, 48837. Or you can make your donation with a credit card by visiting our website, www.apocministry.org. Please indicate on your donation, Thanksgiving. From your APOC family, thank you for partnering with us and for choosing to make a difference. God bless.